Hello, I'm Joseph Barker, and welcome to the Finding Ability Podcast. A place where people are able, adaptable, brave, loving, and exceptional. This is a place where we get into deep conversations about how we can make our lives better, and how we can make the world a better place. Good morning, or afternoon, or evening, or nighttime, or whenever it is to you. Thanks for listening, and uh, today is a solo cast on morning routines and what it means to get your body ready uh, for the day uh, in a way that supports you in a biological way. So, a lot of the time after people wake up, uh, the instantaneous thing is to go make the coffee and get it into your gullet and then to uh, get to work. Um, usually, there's a lot of scrolling through photos on the phone and visiting uh, various social media, uh, medias. Um, but what I found in my experience um, through practice uh, is um, when it comes into having some of the best mornings is a lot about the routine, uh, building a routine that, that feels good for yourself. Uh, and one that's also able to be adaptable depending upon, you know, the circumstances of life. Because there are definitely times in which you're up late um, or getting up early is hard because if, if there's an injury or illness going on. <clears throat> uh, but here are some of the ways that I found it to be very helpful uh, or some very helpful things to, to have in a morning routine. Uh, so first off is... Uh, meditation, uh, which is a very like 2020 trend. Uh, it seems like um, the practice of meditation is as simple as uh, you can just sit for 30 breaths and just count your breaths and just be in your body. One reason why that's so <clears throat> useful and important is you're priming yourself to just be present and to just be in your body as opposed to um, training yourself to already be looking for the next hit of dopamine on your phone um, or a computer or TV or whatever it is. And so uh, that's one aspect of uh, my morning routine that I find or that I have found to be uh, very transformative in being able to have uh, days with a lot of output um, the one way that I used to describe it uh, earlier on when uh, it was less consistent but was happening uh, somewhat regularly was that my, uh, my willpower seemed to go up like between 30 and 70% uh, if I was to have that time in the morning to just breathe and to just sit. Um, I found that like lay down meditation just puts me right back to sleep which sometimes is really important, again, if like recovery or illness is going on, but um, seated meditation is very helpful for that. The other uh, thing that, that I find uh, uh, as being v extremely helpful um, is journaling. Uh, morning Pages is a concept by uh, Julia Cameron, the author of The Artist's Way. And uh, I haven't done this every single day, but it's been about six years of journaling um, pretty consistently. I would say, in a, honestly, it's probably 60% of the time, but it'll usually be a few months at a time, and then I'll take a few weeks off and then back on again. The utter importance of journaling, uh, I think, is hard to describe. Um, it's a little bit ineffable in the fact that um, the results uh, can be immediate. Um, they can be midterm, and then there's also long-term ones. Um, and so what I found is it's a little bit hard to articulate because it's so dependent upon the person, but how it feels is um, it's kind of like spiritual wind windshield wipers. Um, 
or it's a way to kind of clean out the emotional or intellectual or spiritual stuff that's going on so that you can be a bit more present and get those things out of you. Um, some, peop- uh, some people who I know who have brain injuries or who are um, who have challenges writing for whatever reason, uh, they have a, a kind of like an audio diary that they keep so that they'll actually just be speaking um, into their phone or whatever it might be. Uh, and, and that's kind of capturing what's going on. And the intention isn't to like reread these all the time and to, to really like dissect your life too much. It's more about just getting it out so that you can then get on with the day. Um, similar to like, if you stretch in the morning, it's a, it's a good way to like wake up your body and to say hello to your joints and to start the lubrication process that, that they can be more functional for the rest of the day. And that's, <clears throat> That's kind of how I find uh, meditation and journaling to be. Um, so in, in a more ideal day, uh, I have both of those. Um, what I found after that uh, to be extremely helpful is uh, breath practice and yoga uh, and walking. Um, I don't do all of these things every single day. Um, I found if there's one that that's most important, I would say that it's, it's breath practice, um, and walking. Uh, if you're in like a physical, like a, a physically bad place, yoga can, can like, can be very helpful. If you have like chronic kind of like nagging pains in your body, that might be a way to really address it. Um, so that you can feel more in your body and less, uh, with less pain in your body, you, you can then be happier and healthier during the rest of the day. <clears throat> From there, what I've found is exposure to sunlight, exposure to hot and, and cold to be also of great benefit. And so with the uh, exposure to hot and colds, that can be like a steam room or a sauna or just a really hot shower or bath. Um, and the cold can be a pool, a lake, a shower, or a bath. Um, but the exposure to those two different um, temperatures uh, cr- creates a, a pretty large cascade uh, effect within your body that can help for quite a, a long period of time, a.k.a. the whole day. Um, and so when it comes into this idea of exposing yourself to extreme colds or just the colds uh, one of the really interesting benefits is that it helps to stabilize blood sugar spikes throughout the entire day and it's one of the most effective uh, things that you can do to actually uh, maintain uh, those blood sugar levels Um, if you if you don't really know why that's important um, you want to have a pretty consistent um, blood sugar level as soon as there's spikes and there's also going to be dips and that's going to be hard on your body that's kind of the like the afternoon need for a nap or um just irregular energy levels uh is a lot a lot of the time predicated upon what's going on with your blood sugar levels and so uh having that cold exposure in the morning is one of the best ways to give yourself um more focus Uh, but also uh, the kind of sustained energy that you probably need to live your life, whether you're working or you're training or have a family or all of those things. uh, That's one of the best ways to kind of uh, to hijack your system in a good way to provide you the the support that you really need to live your best life. Um, And when it comes into the extreme heat, it really helps to open up, uh, to dilate uh, your circulatory system, it helps to move, um, or it helps to prime the body so that you can move your lymphatic system better. It helps to support, um, your muscular skeletal system, your fascial system, so that you're then more able, uh, during the day to have better workouts or just feel better. Um, I notice a, a drastic uh, increase in my overall capacity as a, as a person as, as soon as I started to utilize uh, hydrotherapy, a.k.a. hot and cold exposure, on, on a regular basis. <clears throat> uh, the effects are noticeable if you haven't done any of those things for some time. 
uh, it just provides this like overwhelming feeling of bliss and kind of contentment. Um, and what I found is that with, with consistency, uh, with doing it regularly, whether it's every day or every other day, um, by the end of a two week, four week, six week, eight week cycle, um, the amount of health that I felt in my body was that, that I had never really felt before. So as opposed to, to spending say an hour a day working out, um, or doing yoga, if, if that same hour was put towards a uh, hot and cold exposure, um, and some breath practice, the amount of vitality that, that I, that I felt and, and what I've experienced with my clients, uh, and students and friends, uh, is, is the same. It's one of the best ways to really restart your body from uh, a vitality experience. <clears throat> and so those are kind of the, some of the ways that I feel like you really can create a great day. Um, something that I've also practice a little bit with is while walking deep nasal breathing um, to really just start the whole day in the system uh, and as well as walking meditation uh, utilizing metta which is a buddhist meditation um, around love peace uh, contentment health mm, so yeah those those things I've, i found have all been very helpful um I'm eventually going to go into more detail about all of these things specifically. Um, but this was just a kind of a quick summation of, uh, of morning tips and tricks that I have found to be helpful. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, quandaries, conspiracies, or cactuses, please leave them within whatever social media you find this on. Thank you so much and have a great day.